What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to episode number 47 of the Ultimate Team. As you can see, just as promised from the last episode guys, the discardables are getting discarded. Now this Spanish team is going first, the 4 triple two non-rare Spanish team, simply because everyone was down to one contract except the right back. So I discarded them all, I probably could have sold them for 350 or 400, but the whole point about the discardables was to buy them and then play as many games as possible with them and then sell them. I also discarded this Brazilian team simply because I didn't enjoy playing with it. It was way, way too slow for me. Now I know these teams aren't supposed to be about pace, but uh, you, you, at least need a, you at least need a player or two with some pace. And uh, yeah, so we got a few coins up in the top right hand corner now and I uh, opened a few packs just to try and get some fitness cards. Uh, unfortunately, the packs I opened have been very stingy on the fitness card front. Now, the, the bronze fitness cards, the plus 20 fitness cards, actually go for around 300 coins at the moment. So even if you get one of them one in, one in of them in the pack, you'll be able to sell the stuff for, you know, sell the whole pack for more than you, you bought it for, uh, which is pretty damn sweet. But in this instance, I actually only got one of them in four packs, and I actually opened two 750 coin packs and two 400 coin packs. So I was really, really disappointed, but I did get a few contracts, a few manager contracts and stuff, which will help throughout the series of course and I built a French league team guys so as you can see this team we've got uh, Mandanda in goal uh, Steve what a great name for a goalkeeper Steve Mandanda in goal uh, right back I've got um, um, is what's this guy's name Mariano four star skills for Mariano now I I bought him for a relatively cheap amount but I can't show you right now because that thing in the bottom right hand corner how annoying is that telling me that Swindon are currently ranked first I don't give a fuck where Swindon are ranked uh, I bought the, the two centre backs there the 400 coins for the first centre back and Nkulu for 1700 I know Nkulu's got an upgraded centre back position card but he goes for around four or 5000 coins and I wasn't willing to spend that just for a small upgrade uh, I got Belanda in cam position and Gorkouf in cam position that are playing centre midfields they only get 7 chemistry each also I've got Musa Sissoko as a CM there. Um, but yeah, so like I said, the two cams only get seven chemistry each. I've got Jeremy Menez there, right wing, Loic Remy up front. And in left wing, we've got Petroipa. Uh, he does have four star skills and 92 pace. I will be looking to get Lavezzi there. However, um, but uh, you know, sometimes you've got to wait, you've got to sell some stuff in the club first before I can manage to get those coins. And that's exactly what I actually went and done is I went and sold some stuff in the trade pile. Some of those players uh, that I listed from the Brazilian team that I bought, uh, Alex Alexandro there only went 14750 So I didn't make as much profit on him as I thought I would have done. And I'm just relisting these Br Brazilians that uh, I'm obviously never going to discard because they're far, far too uh, expensive to be discardables. Um, so I went into the cup guys went into the gold cup and come up against this guy called Tres Amigos now the reason why I'm in the gold cup is because I'm using this Spanish discardables team whilst uh, I need the fitness on that French league team to, to raise I need it to go to 99 um, so I'm going to use that French league team in division one I've got three games remaining in division one and I need six points to stay in the division so it's going to be tough to not get relegated and 13 minutes into this game, guys, Jeffren walks down there, does the fake shot to draw the keeper out, puts it onto his left foot, scores a goal after 14 minutes to make it 1-0. And just 20-odd uh, minutes later, Adrian here picks up the ball in the centre midfield. Shars has the ball. Varela is there just in acres of space, a scoop turn and then a finesse shot to that far post. And Varela scores goal after goal to that far post. He's got a fantastic finesse shot. He's really, really good. Just on the stroke of half time, guys, Pato and uh, Leandro Damial, they're playing a 1-2 that failed. However, Paulinho breaks through the defence, bullies the defender there and a nice finesse shot around the keeper to make it 2-1 after 45 minutes. But we weren't done there. And this, this discardable team, this Spanish non-rare team, that I, sorry, this Portuguese league team that I've got, I'm actually going to build on this team. Team and, and try and make it it's not going to be a discardables team when I'm finished with it you know it's going to be a really good team to play with Jeffren though doing some cracking work there after 48 minutes and scoring a fantastic goal to make it 3-1 and that is actually how the game finished so we do move on to the next round of the gold cup but in the meantime guys I'm going to be looking to go into division one now like I say division one is tough um, it, it just genuinely is really hard I don't know if I'm really unlucky with the people I come up against I don't know if I'm just quite bad at FIFA 13 I don't know if I'm not prepared for division one I don't play division one often I prefer the cups uh, I just I enjoy the game a lot more when I play in the cups so maybe because I haven't played divisions for that long perhaps that's why you know I'm, I'm just not prepared for it like I say or perhaps you know I'm, I'm just not good enough to, to win division one perhaps that's the case and if that is the case it will be my fight my FIFA 13 fight to, to get better and progress at this game until I can destroy people in Division 1. That, that'll be my aim, I guess. As you can see, though, guys, I did sell on a few players to the point where I've got 33,800 coins. 
And with those coins, I went out and bought Ezekiel Lavetsi. Uh, 93 pace, um, just one more than Petroipa. Four star week for four star skill moves. He cost me 15,500 coins. And uh, what a bargain, guys. And uh, I'm, I'm quite confident that this team that I have here will be able to go into Division 1 and, and stand up against pretty much any team that, uh, that I've got. You know, I've got a lot of pace, a lot of skills, a solid defense, a really good goalkeeper. Um, the only problem with it is the attacking work rates of the players. Now, come up against this guy in a 4-1-2-1-2 BPL team. He's got a lot of pace in his team. Lennon, um, Oxley chamberlain Kagawa, Ben. Defoe doesn't have the craziest amount of pace, but does have a good shot on him. And uh, he's got Mbia, Mbiwa there and Mbia, sorry, and Vermalen in defence and De Gea in goal. It, it's, a, it's a solid BPL team, you know, one that's quite cheap to build and very, very strong. However, 25 minutes in here, put Loic Remy through. He brings his keeper out and uh, got really, really lucky to get the rebound there but I did get the rebound and finessed it into the far into the into the goal pretty much into the middle of the goal to put myself one nil up after 26 minutes and uh, just shortly after that you see Sissoko picks up the ball here sends it out to Jeremy Menez now Jeremy Menez obviously has got a lot of pace he's got that four star weak foot as well and that's pretty important in this bit here he just gives Vermalen the dick slaps it into that far post and we go 2 nil up and I'm looking good here I'm looking strong looking to get three points in this division and leave myself just needing three more points to to stay in the division however straight after the kickoff here Morales goes through on goal and that near post so overpowered I've scored countless goals on it myself and he scores and then again one two through ball there I tackle him and I play the ball back and look at that for a break it breaks straight to Defoe that just really really unfortunate he does some really good work with Defoe there and Morales is there for the cutback to make it 2-2 and I don't need a draw guys I need a win I have to win these games so I go attacking I, I actually had a corner there I get hit on the break Defoe here just just doing work gets bullied off the ball but manages to keep it and finesse or drill it to the far post so we take a loss and it's a damning loss as well not just because it uh, leaves us needing two wins from the last two games but because I quite controlled that game you know you see the match stats here he had uh, I think six shots and scored three goals I had 16 shots and 11 on target and I could only score two goals his keeper had a great game I had a few long range shots there but quite a few from inside the box however that is how FIFA is sometimes you know sometimes you lose games you deserve to win and sometimes you win games you deserve to lose that is just how the cookie crumbles and you've got no complaints here from me for that but we need two wins from two games this is the end of the episode guys so if you did enjoy it be sure to leave a like comment subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you next time cheers